Way off. We're up at the peak of sleep guy here in the rocks where I had this really sort of rubbish 2 million pixel digital camera and I could only do 20 second video clips. So I was holding it up, taking a video clip, and then boom, boom, these two bolts came down, snaking and uh, like snouting, bending and twisting. Lasted about 15 minutes and eventually lifted up into the cloud base and was gone. But we were just blown away. That was the first time I've ever seen a phone cloud and uh, that was me completely hooked for life. There was no it's in an atmospheric cake, so to speak, as moisture instability and lift. It marked on what we talked about. You've, at the surface you may have 10 knots of wind speed, get up into the mid levels, the ones maybe 20 knots, they're getting stronger. Upper level ones, perhaps 30, 35 knots, much stronger. And as a result, the main updraft, which is actually this one, the newly developed updraft, which will become the main uh, updraft through the entire storm in a few minutes. You can see a mark of the shell line that the wind shear is actually tilted that full updraft over. So the base of that tower there is actually over here. You can't see the updraft because there's precipitation sort of blocking the view, but you can visualize the base here. The whole updraft tower is leaning over strongly with a strong shear. And as it does so, it's venting all this precipitation away from this updraft area over here over the lock foil. And that area is called the forward flank downdraft. On a lightning flickering away inside here, the rain is falling down over the Donegal. You can see the characteristic the RFD cut, the wall cloud, the stration rings, the base of the RFD, the natural cyclone. And here is the radar graph that time from that weather. And you can see this very strong core. The air is descending down from the storm. Uh, the invisible air is called a gust front. You can't see it, but it's spreading across the ground like a, an invisible pancake. And as it does so, it scoops up the, the warm air ahead of it and forms a cloud along the front of the storm. And that cloud is usually this elongated long feature called a shelf cloud, or the species name is called an arcus, an arcus cloud. But everyone just calls it a shelf cloud. So this is the best time of year to get them. But the other, the tornadoes happen all year long in Northern Ireland, and thunderstorms can happen all year long too. We don't have a set season. In the cold season, from September through to February, March, April, uh, is actually the best time of year for tornadoes. It's just a visual tip if you're looking for funnel clouds and tornadoes, it's just to check underneath the basis of these cumulus clouds. Uh, these big updrafts, these towering cumulus, doesn't matter if they're producing thunder or lightning or not, doesn't even matter if they're producing rain. As long as you get these powerful updrafts, check the rain-free base here. And you may, it's a focus point for thunderstorm development and a place where rotation can happen and you're more likely to get funnels and tornadoes. So the white, that would be my target area that day in that white box if I knew this was a setup for a particular day. So those we do damage is wind shear. We mentioned wind shear at the start about what it means, how it tilts the updraft over and all that organizes the thunderstorm. But this is the actual visualization of how the tornado forms. You have the wind shear cam at the surface. As you go higher up through the atmosphere, the ones get stronger and stronger and stronger. As it does so, it creates this invisible rotating tube in the atmosphere. That's the supercell lock foil rotating. You have a developing shelf cloud or arcus cloud there along the leading edge of the storm.